do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation and in that we are studying topic osmoregulation by kidney now kidney strives to maintain the osmotic balance inside your body what's this osmotic balance if the intake of water is less or more osmotic balance could be in danger or it could land up in problem so let's study and find out today why now osmoregulation by kidney could be simply said as the regulation of osmotic pressure or osmotic balance by your kidney whenever the intake of water in your system is less or the intake of water in your system is more especially when the weather changes the osmoregulation in your body changes and kidney tries to maintain that osmoregulation especially your electrolyte balance your sodium potassium channels or iron gated ligands are closely dependent on this water molecules or h plus ions as well as this salt so it's very necessary that osmoregulation by kidney is important now reabsorption of salts like na plus or sodium if i say by the tubule or renal tubule which is pct bct all of them reabsorption is a very fundamental property just to maintain that osmoregulation of the body osmoregulation by kidney now maintaining the osmotic balance of your system or of your body is very crucial or very detrimental part of your kidneys the regulation of osmotic pressure of body fluids is termed as osmoregulation if we try and break that definition it means that trying to maintain water electrolyte balance in your body on day to day basis is nothing but osmotic balance in your body that's the primary function of your kidney along with excretion the osmotic pressure of any fluid depends upon the concentration of water and salts in that fluid now this fluid could be your body fluids like your blood or your lymph kidney plays a very crucial role in that when the intake of water especially in the summers is very high your osmotic balance is obviously low
So just to maintain that osmotic pressure, the excess of water from the blood is let out into glomerular filtration. And while it is let out, when the filtrate passes through the renal tubule, salt and very less amount of water or H plus ions are reabsorbed back. Now in case the filtrate retain a large amount of water in it, which is thrown out of the body through the urine, which is also needed or which is also called as why your blood is hypotonic. Now whenever there is excess amount of water in your system, obviously the amount of blood that's present in your system will be diluted and that's the reason it's always termed as hypotonic to blood. The amount of water if it is present excess of the amount which is not required. If X is the amount that's required by your body and X plus Y is present then that's hypotonic to your blood. Reabsorption of salts Na plus by the tubule is also done by the hormone aldosterone and it's very crucial during this process. So I hope students you all are very clear with this part of osmoregulation by kidney. Thank you.